In this question, you're looking at the transformation of a quadratic by adding something to the input, taking the output, and adding three. And so there are two things that are going to be happening here to do, cause transformations. When you fill in this table of values, you're going to be looking at the minimum value. So watch carefully and see what happens to the minimum value of the new function. What is the minimum value of the new quadratic or the new function? And for what input value does it reach that minimum? And so in this case, if I started with an input of negative 7, I'm going to be adding 1 to it. Then I'm going to be squaring it. When I get the output of that function, which is 36, I'm going to add 3 and I get 39. And so complete that table of values and just pay close attention to what happens to the minimum value of the quadratic.